Like at the end. We tried that last time, but I think... Yeah, yeah, actually, that's a great idea. But I, I kind of like nah, it Nah, because the then Zondra just takes control of the last you one. You see that? You see uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's a great idea. You see that? So welcome back <laughs> to the Lord's Second District Podcast. <laughs> this, is what, this is what we have to go through, guys. This is what we have to go through to get this to you. You're so Money. I told you you're the best. Sheesh. But yeah, this is what it takes to make a good product for you yeah, guys. Anyway, yeah. welcome back to the Lord Sick Edition Podcast, the hottest podcast in the world. That's right. Uh, we've caught a good little break, a little fade. Um, so what's up? What do you guys see this weekend? Uh, you guys want to bring up to uh, attention? I saw two things that I thought were pretty, like, not big news, just funny things to me. So one of them was the TikTok founder. He said that he made the app for jobless and unstable people. It worked. <laughs> but... I got a job and I'm pretty stable, you know. I, mean, I like me some fucking TikTok. I'm sure there's things that people have made along human history that were intended for a specific person and ended up in a completely different demographic. Well, yeah, it wasn't like Snapchat meant for something else at the beginning. And it, I mean, it kind of worked. It's and, magic, but and uh, Facebook was like for like college kids only. You feel me? Yeah. And then it went worldwide too. So, I mean, yeah, it is a funny, it's a, it's a funny headline, right? Because like, oh, oh, I know you guys weren't on TikTok up until like recently, you know what I mean? No. I just started, just because to me, Instagram turned into TikTok. So I was like, might as well see where this shit comes from, straight from the source, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just follow a bunch of paisa ass fucking shit that's hella funny to me or motherfuckers that own liquor store that fuck that fuck with their customers that shit is what I find funny <laughs> like that's what yeah, I follow yeah, yeah. it could be it's it's entertaining there's yeah. a lot of entertainment on there for sure you could definitely it's so easy to like stay stuck on that too yeah. like yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, caught myself just chilling and I'm like yo what like yeah. literally cause there's like 15-30 seconds and you move on to the next good ass clip and the next good you're just yeah, looking yeah. for for the high like right. oh that one was a good laugh let me see if this one's funny let me see if this one's funny let me see yeah, if this yeah, one's yeah, funny yeah. Yeah. there's a lot of creative people on the internet I guess we've all known that like since the day that the internet came out yeah I think what's special about like TikTok is that like uh, people have become so like uh, what would you say like so real about like the shit that people go through you know what I mean like people will come out on TikTok about like their sexual abuse or like how their partner died it's just like a little bit of everything you know what I mean like, yeah, or, see, like I'm not in that part of TikTok right now no 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 my point being is but that I've seen videos like the that. Point, the point being that all the overly produced shit doesn't really get... It's like, you know how Instagram, everything has to be like curated and it has to fit your profile feed and shit like that. It's, uh, TikTok is more like, uh, it's more free. Like Any clip could blow yeah, up. Yeah, like uh, any, exactly, any clip could blow up. Uh, you organizing, uh, you cooking, you know, like uh, you just like doing like a fucking seven minute fucking dance or playing a seven minute song. Bro, you just in your room. like the dumbest clips have like the most views. Like yeah. because someone it, changing a tire. Because people are yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, because people are tired of all that fake shit, bro. Like you know what feature I like on TikTok? I was looking for a video and um And they just read your mind? No, no. Well like I just go to the search <laughs> and I look up like I explain what happens in the video and then that video popped up. You know, I'm like, oh, cool. You can kind of search for, like, the video you that you were do, looking for. You can do that, like, anywhere on yeah. the internet, I think, now at this point. But uh, I first figured it out on, just on put, TikTok. I kind of live put, under a rock, uh, yo. Just put type B at the end and anything will pop up. <laughs> type B. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, but. Good. Um, yeah, I recently searched up that video of the dude in Heelys. Heelys. Okay, yeah. Like well, the older guy? The older guy well, in I'm Heelys. Sure. And okay, well once, his yeah. wheels. well, once you put Heelys, that shit's going to pop up. You know what I mean? But. Uh, like I guess like it was certain videos like that like you everyone like I, what I think is that everyone sees the same exact fucking videos as like I think if I'm next to you right I catch a little bit of your algorithm and then now we see the same video yeah, because yeah. like you know I'll be like around people and I'll be like oh I I just watched that video like five minutes ago you know now he's watching it like because I could hear it you well, feel me I think me? we yeah, just yeah. all follow similar pages and it just no no yeah, no, no. Yeah, I don't yeah. follow anyone on TikTok that I, I follow like a small handful of people. I know but you probably follow meme pages that we follow No I don't I don't I don't follow I don't follow meme. a lot of I don't, people I don't follow TikTok meme either. shit on me TikTok I follow just like, like I said motherfuckers that fuck with people at their liquor store Yeah 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 and some cooking shit cause sometimes my wife is like what should I cook and I try to make it easy for her cause I always fucking gave it to moms that fucking figured out what they were going to cook every night because that shit is fucking uh, hard to well, figure out. Well, we have this, we have this. Boom, let's, like the let's amount of times that up, you don't prepare, yeah. you eat the same shit a lot of the time. So you, like we just try to eat something different every night and that's just hella hard to do. So that TikTok is. helps a lot. Okay. It could be benef beneficial for sure, but 
And of course, with anything good, there's bad with it, right? So yeah, like, that's what I was gonna say. So it could like, be bad. I saw I saw a post yesterday that's like Netflix isn't Netflix isn't free. It costs you time. Um, yeah, shit like that. You know, like like this shit is there, but it's like oh, like the internet is just like it, it, it takes your attention. Side. It takes your attention, you know. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I do catch myself because sometimes I'll be like, yo, I should be doing this over here, you know. But like it, it like sucks you in. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I guess you just got to be aware of shit like that. Me, I've been an avid internet user since, you know, it was prominent in America. I so think I just I, grew I, up around the time that the internet was, it wasn't easy to access. It was just more accessible. Like, no matter what, broke or not, a lot of people had the computer and had the internet. Like, if you had a line to to call, you had a line for internet, you know? No, I never had internet. Well, how, how I did is... Uh, we anyone who's from my city and like in from my area understands if you're listening um we would have to go to the library because none of us had it at the house that. so we would all have yep. to go to the library and you had one hour one hour that you could go on myspace because it was my, my yep. it was my space space. At the time. That's what I so you had so so back then we only had it for the kids listening back then we only had an hour to go you would go on myspace add your friends edit your profile find your song whatever and then at the hour it kicks you out and that's all the time you would have for the day I only know. one hour of internet imagine that i got i got a computer during middle school probably oh. like seventh eighth grade and my parents got internet on it because we always had to print shit out because you had to print uh, fucking um, directions back then. You had to print them and yeah, I we used that to play shit. soccer and we would fucking go hella far. I hate it when my parents like asked me to print the directions. Yeah. I'd be like, ah, oh, what? Well, I gotta do this. ¿Cómo no sabes? ¿Para qué vas a la escuela? Like what? I know. <laughs> they don't teach me this at school. Nah, but I had a computer at home as well. It but, had internet? Yeah, but after school, I would just go to the library or I can go to the library whenever. And then I knew I had a computer to myself for a whole hour. My shit had internet, but I never got to use it. Like, the only time I, w- I was able to use it is one time I cracked the code. My mom had a password and I cracked ah, it. You cracked the code. What was and- the code? <laughs> I shouldn't have said that because that's probably her password for some shit. But, uh, we'll, we'll bleep that out. But <laughs> I figured it out, bro. And for a long time, I, like, was able to use the computer. And I used to play, um, what is that shit? Oh, the Penguin. Club Penguins. Oh, Club Penguin. <laughs> I used to yeah. play that shit in middle school, bro. Yeah, you said. I had a Club Penguin, too. Did you guys ever have to, like, um, get, like, girls, like, AOL's accounts? Did you guys uh, ever do that? I think the, not not I romantically. In. Not romantically. I did have some yeah. friends that we had emails and like we would talk through email. Emails, fucking. It was, it was look cool. at that. Look at See, that. And I we're like, yo, Yahoo has the instant chat or AOL, instant messenger. AOL. You know, yeah. I knew about all that shit, but I didn't come onto the internet. I, what was your first email MySpace. address? What was your first email address? Uh, Is it the same one you have now? No, no, no. My first email address, I think, was rtsnob six twelve at yahoo.com. What about yours? I don't remember, but I know that my Xbox made it for me. What? Because I was trying to set up an Xbox. So it I, made bro, it for you? Yeah. So what? Like, I never had an use, email. Use until I, one I, didn't use a, I didn't use email until Gobbler. I was in high school, bro. <laughs> Gobbler 03. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, you thought. No, I didn't use uh, emails until I was in high school. Like, I had to make one for, like, school loop or so, whatever. So when the time came, it was just Lazaro Hernandez, yeah, know, I made, a regular you, one? Yeah, because my freshman year, you take that computer class where they teach you how to be professional and shit. Yeah. And you make an email. Yeah. 